All right, what you're viewing here, let me cut the light off. What you're viewing here is my open box desktop, and I'm going to demonstrate a program that I wrote in Python on my Rocks Filer desktop, open box window managing system, and how this is supposed to work. Um, the idea as it is, is it detects a certain sensor. I'll show you what it is here. You open this. You can drag right over to my idle icon. It will open it up automatically. Alright, let's move this over here where you can see it a little bit more. Um, this is using the uh, PCF8591T. It's a little demo board that I had bought off of eBay. You see the uh, program for it. It's designed to operate in uh, Python. It can be an executable file or I can operate it through idle. Let's note a few pecu peculiarities before I operate the system. Of course it has to use SMBus. I have to use time and I have to use T Kenter. Now the problem I ran into T Kenter here um, starts with a capital T. The problem is if it's a lowercase t it won't work in um, Python 2.7 but SMBus doesn't work in Python 3.2 or 3.0 and above. So I have to use Python 2.7 and capitalize T and T Kenter, that's going to be my graphical user program. Let's go ahead and run it. All right, here it is. I'm going to focus in it a little bit more. Okay, what you see here is a box. The uh, 8591T board is a four-channel A to D converter, and it is a single-channel um, digital to analog converter. All of them are 8 bits. So, analog in 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 will tell me the readings on each of the analog input channels. You notice one of them is zero. Uh, the other three have a pot, a thermistor, and a photocell connected. If I flip the light back on, you'll see the value of the one with the photocell is going to change. Flip the light off. And it was detecting the light level from the fluorescent light. All right, what is A out? This is the information I can type in. Let's, from 0 to 255, I took the analog out and fed it back in to analog in. Let's go with 127. I'm going to do A out. Let me go ahead and cut this light off again. Now let's read analog 2. 126. All right, you will find out that there is some conversion errors. The analog out and the analog in are 8-bit. And that's going to uh, create some errors in itself. So I took a value of 127 by the time it's converted to a analog voltage and then is read and reconverted to a digital code it's going to create an error of plus or minus one bit. Let's go ahead and put in, let's say, 200. This has got to be 0 to 255. A out. Let's cut this off. Let's see what our analog is coming back. 
196. Like I said, it's plus or minus a bit or two with the two conversions. That's something you got to be um, wary of with these 8-bit devices is they're going to produce a little bit of error. Now for all practical reasons because of the input voltage and the electronics it's only good for about up to 225 instead of 255. Um, that's a characteristic of the electronics and the supply voltage. Um, so I will post the code on my website um, check it out I've got some I'm going to put a lot of effort into putting out some more code and some more electronic examples uh, catch you next time